Kia ora, welcome to another episode of Rugby Nation. I'm Taylor Curtis and can you believe it, it's quarter finals time in Super Rugby Pacific. We witnessed a massive final round with plenty of upsets and a shake up of the top eight. There's so much to unpack, so let's head to Eden Park for the first match of the round, a must win for the Highlanders taking on the Blues. So can they get off to the start? They would so dearly love to get an early try on the board. And here's Aaron Smith again. Jermaine Ainsley, good carry from him. Gone through the tackle of Tucker, who's down Jermaine and in scoring. big trouble. And he certainly has gone in high. There has been head on head. What do they say? But because of the passive nature of the tackle, it's mitigation. So just back for a penalty, nothing oh, more. Very good this year. Kicking in the, the high 80s. Opens the scoring at Eden Park with a penalty. Papali'i in the back of the scrum. Advantage! And advantage to the Blues. They'll try and drive it towards the post. Now it's there for Christie. Pass doesn't find the mark. And so they'll come back for the penalty. Well, Harry Plummer from right in front. Burns. The restart, tracking across to take it to Pelotu. Good challenge from Nareki, and a loose ball squirting out the side. And this time, it's the Highlanders who get the penalty for holding on no one else there. for Sam Gilbert to put the Highlanders back in front, which he does. It's 6-3. Good clean ball for Christie this time. Pedal Feta. Now, here's Sullivan. The pass from Ioane was a good one. Pops it up. Robinson is there. Hands coming through illegally. Blues playing under advantage, talking a fussy. Riccatelli slides over for his seventh try of the season and the first of the night. And was there a little hint of a lost ball there? And just allow the try, there's a knock on by nine. Blues trying to lift the intensity here. Tohunga Fasi, quick ball away to Sullivan. Now the wide pass from Plummer Signa cleverly back on the inside to Telia. Gets a nice ball away to Robinson. Blues into the 22. There for Christie. Charging onto it. Nipo Laulala. Aaron Smith bravely on the tackle. Now Tonga Fasi. Players away to the right. One of them's two for Lotto and he's in. And this time the Blues are not denied. Tucker. Again, they look to drive it, and it's been taken down illegally by the Highlanders. Christie sliding a kick through that's easily mopped up by Mitch Hunt, so they'll come back for the penalty. And Plummer, and it's a pretty good kick. It's over. Please again look to power up. They get another penalty advantage. Just having advantage. trouble getting the ball away here, Christie. And now Ben O'Keefe might be about to escalate. Captain, please. So I need you to I need you to talk to your tight head because it's the third penalty down here. Again the blues power it up. Again they get the advantage. Aaron Smith comes around all over Papali'i. Penalty it's and fine. someone's going three. to the bin here. Angle and collapse, three. And it is Jermaine Ainsley. Oh. They switch it to the left. Akira Ioane now on to Plummer. Looking to get on the outside. More good defensive work from Gregory. But the ball is still there for the Blues. Now Talia busts onto it. And he's away. You can't keep him out of it. This one perhaps will tell us. Ben, I'm going to overturn your on-field try. The player's in touch. Boot, I think that might be Pedal Fetter's orange boot. Burns now floating a wide one. Nareki dribbles a kick through. Pedal Fetter knocked away from him. Gilbert, oh, he's over! We've actually got the first knock on by, by Blue. We can't award the try, but we'll go back behind the scrum. Oh, they're going to have to make it happen Advantage. quickly here. Advantage being played. Mikaeli too, looking to switch the direction of players for Tuli Paya. Oh. 
Blues have been challenging hard, trying to disrupt the ball. Fakatava, nice little ball on the inside for Connor Gard and Basham. Just initially a little isolated, and that means a penalty to the Blues. 16-9, final score, Blues over the Highlanders. A somewhat unconvincing win there from the Blues, but it piled pressure on the Highlanders with their playoff hopes now on a nice edge, the side in danger of missing the cup for the first time since 2013. Across the ditch, the Rebels were in desperate need of keeping their top eight hopes alive. With a win over the high-flying Brumbies, could they do it? Let's head to Canberra and find out. So the oh, advantage oh, here. Oh, it's a great ball from Deverson. He'll wait for Corey. Jewel! Too quick. He's got a couple of handy carries early on. Canham has made some big turnovers. Given for Carter. Gordon! Gordon goes through. But to go out the back, Eusta, Gordon, that's a good quick ball away, but they can't and hang on through Pinkus and Tom Wright, and Gordon will settle down for a race down the left. In fields for Tool, Tool to Deborah City, Deborah City for Inkytown, looking for the switch play here, wants Wright, sends it out the back, it's there for Wright, Wright, still going! With the finish! The score here in Canberra, the Brumbies 33, the Rebels 17. Getting back on the nick of time to avoid that 50 22 was O'Connor. Charge down, track time. Ramu Kalmunda, what a start. Fiji and Brewer. Advantage goes out. The arm goes out. Advantage now over the top it goes. And Ravovo is in in the corner. Now, as he comes away with it, he's only about two metres out. And there it is for Fraser McRide. Picked it up, dived across. Darren Alungi flips it out the back to Mutz. They go to the left now. Here's Marcy. He's kicking. It's on the ground and it's been picked up and it is a try to Mirror Mirror. Line up to Wilson. Intercepted. Tamani. Has he got the pace to go all the way? History. The Fiji and Brewer are through to the playoffs in just their second year in Super Rugby Pacific. Full time, 41-17. Incredible scenes there at ANZ Stadium and what a winning margin as the Drua make history and book their first ever playoff spot in Super Rugby Pacific. In upsetting the Reds, they also ended the Highlanders' finals hopes, knocking them out of a Trans-Tasman top eight for the first time in 10 years and marking the end of Aaron Smith's era at the club. In Wellington, the Hurricanes were hoping to put on one last showing for Dane Coles in the game of the round against the Crusaders. The Kane stalwart will retire from rugby at the end of the year and with his side cemented in fifth on the standings, it's unlikely he'll play at Sky Stadium again. Chapman, way for Leo Willey, now Moanga, fair bit of space here. Enor puts the foot down, away for Fanga Anuku, charging hard. And a break stopped by Josh Morby, but still coming, and here's Whitelock. Referee's got the arm out. Big start here by the Crusaders, as Chapman works it away for Williams. Snapped up by Leah Willey, and they're in. The Crusaders. Now they start to swing away, and Taylor's through. And that's pretty easy in the finish. Goes through the middle there without it being obstructed. Oh, maybe he did, maybe he did, or four. Well, they're now they're having a look. So, first of all, there's a collapse by two gold, and then there's an obstruction by Crusaders. No, so I can't allow the try. Off for Christian Leo Willey. And if he... Oh, boy, that was heavy contact. Oh. There's a high tackle, shot at a head, and off-field review. So, the Crusaders back in familiar territory as Wayne wins the line out. Playing an advantage here as well. That's one, Crusaders! 
okay. the corner. Clear it, Cody, you've got it, got it, clear it. Now away goes Cody Taylor, puts his head down and scores again. Denied the first one, but this time it's undeniable. Conversion from Moonga, this time is good. Here's Chapman working blindside. Oh. Intercept! Naholo chased by Jordan. And good tackle. How can he lay it back? He's holding it up as long as he can. Blackpool clears it off into midfield. Finally grabbed by Flanders. And the Hurricanes were their best shot at it so far in this game. As Roygaard away for Savia. Quick hands. Cameron. Here's Naholo again. Good tackle that time by Chapman. Crusaders have a player down. Here's Delaney right in midfield as Roygaard clears it away. Inside pass has been grabbed by Taylor. And now snapped up by Fanga Nuku. Now Moonga shovels it wide. Hurricanes have a player down too. Now Coles. Great work by Dane Coles. Lays it back for Roygaard. He releases for Savia. He's got plenty of pace. Another good tackle, this time by Moonga. Spectacular part of the game. Now Blackpool. Quick hands, but it's been lost. Offside. There's an offside and then there's a high tackle on 12 gold. So points on the board for the Hurricanes. Getting the call from the sideline. The little kick through. Almost grabbed by Fanga Nuku. Taken off the back by Leo Willey. And off goes Jordan. Quick hands. Enor stretches and scores. Braden Enor for the Crusaders. Moonga. This time, bang down the middle it goes for the extra two. Roygaard again. This time it's with Cameron. Wide across for Barrett. Lovely delivery. And Billy Proctor scores the Hurricanes' first try. Outstanding pass. It really was. Ball available for Louis Chapman. Drops it off for Gallagher. Tackle release now. And the penalty. They had to release, but then he didn't release the ball. Oh, a couple of old mates having a go here. Adi Savia away for Blackwood as they get a settler 10 metres out. Flying Anuka's come in offside. They wanted to take it quickly. Two's come in and deliberately hit the ball, so two is in the bin. Wow. Deliberately. deliberately He'll get a send off. He is He'll get a send off from his old mate, too. Now Cameron away for Barrett. Barrett puts the shoulder in, holds it up for Savia. Slipped a beautiful pass to Roygaard, and the Hurricanes score. Oh, come at the hour, come at the man, Adi Savia. And why not? Why shouldn't it be you? Brett Cameron. Short pass for Savia. No! No, leave the red, leave the red! All slow. Roygaard looks again, pops the pass and it's been knocked on. Roygaard goes again. Now they go wide. Cameron drops the pass off to Barrett. Now the charge from Josh Morby, and he scores. Oh, game on, game on, big time. Oh, that's a lovely kick. Here goes uh, Iose off the back. Still going, Brandon Iose. Hurricanes in again. Wow. Joel Lamb waits. Now he gets it. Now they go wide. Nice pass off to Fihaki for the corner. And he got it down, I reckon. That's a really good try. So the Crusaders do finish on a high.
It won't be enough. Lovely kick from the sideline. Adds the extra two points. And the final score at Sky Stadium in Dane Cole's last appearance sees the Hurricanes 27, Crusaders 26. The Hurricanes will no doubt be happy with that win over the injury-depleted Crusaders. And how fitting that Dane Coles gave the fans one last vintage and fiery performance as he prepares to say goodbye to the game. Wardy actually asked me at the start of the week, what do you want to do? I was like, mate, I don't want anything, like, no <laughs> more, like, videos. I just said, the one thing would be cool, we run out with my kids, you know? Like, that was, yeah, that was a big part of it, so it was quite cool. And that's probably got a bit emotional running up the lads, and they were enjoying it, but, yeah. I was a bit sceptical actually getting through the week with the little injuries I had, so every day was a challenge, but just proud of the effort, mate. And if it's our last game here, at least I can say we beat the Crusaders at home. Yeah, mate. Beautiful <laughs> way to go out, mate. Beautiful way to go out. Right, we'll have the rest of the round for you after the break, but first, let's take a look at how our New Zealand under-20s got on against Australia ahead of the under-20 World Cup. You have to back and a long kick out on the right for Tony Tau. Yes! Fanger, first receiver. Now Kimber, that was a bit of a tip on. Godfrey, two on one, and Macca Springer. No defenders left. In the shift with a little tip on, gonna get the ball away. There it is, Tangito from a standing star with a right foot step. Two score, two goals. Lower with a little attacking cut. What about that, did you? Beautifully executed. Short little chip over the top. We kept scoreless in the second half as the Junior Wallabies mounted some strong attack. But in the end, just failed by a point to wrap it up. The man in his last game with Pacifica tonight, but that one's been ripped away by Vailanu, and the Tars go on the counter-attack. Nawani Tuase, and Peach leader our pace. Pacifica, oh, it sits up! It sits up and up! Goes to the back, he up as if you're tubber tubber, no why. Ducks under a couple, ups and goes again. He's a tank. William Farnell, over to tubber tubber, no why. No, really. Space for Fanga, Anuku, and now tubber tubber, no why gets his second. Denari. Great service off the deck, and now they're finding some cracks in the Tars defence. Lilia Farnell turning back the clock, turning it all the way back. R2 to Hannigan. Hooper's in the middle of this. Hooper will score. And Sydney waves goodbye to Michael Hooper in Super Rugby. And it is the first win of the year. Moana Pacifica. Wow, the upset of the round there and not a result the Waratahs needed before the quarterfinals. In fact, it's been touted as one of the most humiliating defeats in the club's history as Moana Pacifica spoiled Michael Hooper's farewell party in Sydney. So with one game left to play, the force were in desperate need of a win over the table-topping Chiefs. Clayton McMillan seemingly helping their plight, resting 11 of his star players for their last round in Perth. The final match of the final round and it is all to play for for the Western Force. Tiahurirangi gives it to Norris, and they drive him back in the tackle. Hoi Hippie, Stevenson. Expect Sean Stevenson to get his hands on the ball as Nanai Satoro spots some space up the middle, and now McQuaddle. He's in for the first try for the Chiefs. Now looks skyward. Stevenson picks it up and beats the first. He does so well. Sean Stevenson. He's brilliant in the counter attack. Still going. Now he finds Thompson. Brought down 10 out. That is lethal counter attack there from the Chiefs. Kicking across. Looking for Leonard Brown. It bounces up for the skipper. Try number two. And it's a masterpiece. With a strong carry in the midfield. Robolo around the corner for 
Stewart, they threw the long pass. It's been picked off by Coombs Fabling. And the Chiefs will run it in for a third. And that's the quick ball they want. Bury. Short ball to Stewart. They won't! It's there for Pulu. Pulu twisting. So close. Pick and go. And now they're going to have a look at it. Well, I'm thinking this is a try. I think there's enough Nick, evidence. he does it in one movement and gets on the ground. You can award the try. Thanks very much. Thank you. There it is. And that one doesn't hit its target. Thompson has to go back and tidy up. Force staying out of that one. Oh, what about that? A missed tackle. And Finau scores under the posts. Again, just shaking that first tackle through Rehana. Here's Tupovai. This Chiefs team really are starting to set it alight. Stevenson inside to Tahuri Rangi in his 50th Super Rugby game. Gets a try. One off stuff from the force here. Spink. And now Williams twisting his way over the advantage line. Now Bury puts it in behind. And it's there for Anstey. Try to the Western Force. What can they do off the scrum? Setting up behind the scrum. Some options. So cool. Oh, they stand off him. He dives in for the easiest of easy tries. Peter Gus so a cooler. Gus taken back. It was taken back. Can't go out on the full. Here's Tia Tia. Bury. Looking in behind. And looking for a 50-22. It's going to beat everyone. Oh, he kicks it ahead. Max Bury's going to score. Off his own kick. Wow. Oh, I thought he was going to stop his own 50-22. And he keeps the ball back in field. Is he, is he in field when he kicks the ball or is he out? It was a great piece of work. Doesn't matter. It is spectacular from Max Bury. Ball's still in, guys. OK, can you use that, please? So cool. Oh, it's an ugly old that's pass. Fun, but that's final, guys. And that is full time for the regular season of Super Rugby Pacific 2023. And it is your ladder leaders, the Chiefs, who will march on into the finals. Full time here at HBF Park. Chiefs, 43, Western Force, 19. The Chiefs unstoppable as they prepare to carry that momentum into their first knockout game this weekend. So after all that action, here's how the quarterfinals shape up. The Waratahs need to find answers before Friday's test against the Blues at Eden Park fast, while the Chiefs will be hoping to put on a clinic at home on Saturday afternoon with a win over the Reds. The Fiji and Drua face a tough test against the Crusaders on what will likely be a crisp evening in Christchurch. And the Hurricanes will head to Canberra to take on the Brumbies in what's expected to be a cracking trans-Tasman matchup. And well, what a weekend it's set to be. So much drama to play out. And we'll have it all for you here next week on Rugby Nation. We'll see you then, but for now, Matewa.